Hey geeks, it's Andrea. Seeing as the game has been out for almost an entire week now, I think it's finally time for us to do a review of Enter the Gungeon. Yay. Okay, I'm gonna start off by saying that Josh cannot get enough of this game. He is always playing it. He has definitely outplayed me in the game, so if the video in the background makes me look like a baddie, I'm really sorry. Now we have been very open with the fact that we love roguelike games. When a new one comes out, we are always very excited. Josh may or may not admit it, but he has a gigantic man crush on Sir Richard Hammer and watches him whenever possible. So if Dick is playing it, Josh is likely to watch it to the point that he just has to have it. That right there, geeks, is a truth bomb. Anyway, moving on, I would have to say that there is a decent sized learning curve with the game. I feel like in a few months, we're gonna be able to beat runs fairly easily. In games like Binding of Isaac, Nuclear Throne, or anything in this play style, usually the first couple of days or even weeks of playing the game can be very challenging. It's fun, it's frustrating, it's all around just a really good time. Then as you play more, you get to the point that you can just beat a run without much of a challenge. There isn't anything wrong with this, it's not an insult, it's really a great thing, and honestly it's kind of how most games are anyway. It doesn't tire the game for us, we tend to still go back to them again and again and again. Because we are still in the honeymoon phase with Enter the Gungeon, things are still nice and really challenging for us. For example, Example, it's likely I'm failing really hard in the gameplay video you're watching. So let's talk about devices we use to play. Josh has been playing on his keyboard and mouse simply because I have the controller at my house. <laughs> and I have been playing primarily on a controller. In my opinion, it is significantly easier to play on a controller than it is on mouse and keyboard. That isn't always true with games like this, but it certainly is in this case. The main reason is because of the way movement works. On mouse and keyboard, it's a little more restricted to the four directions using WASD. You can kind of angle it, but it's naturally a lot more fluid on a controller. That's my opinion at least. All right, so whenever you play a game called Enter the Gungeon, you probably want to play with a lot of different guns, don't you? Well, you're in luck. There are over 200 different gun styles for you to pick up. If the RNG gods are with you that day, some of them you can find are super crazy and awesome. There are so many different varieties and styles of guns that we definitely get a lot of enjoyment out of trying new ones. Although there are some that feel kind of similar, there's so many different varieties that you're just not likely to get bored with them. Enter the Gungeon included fairly commonly spawning teleport that you can teleport to from anywhere. This makes it easy to make your way back to the shop or back to the boss area or whatever you're trying to get to. They are very convenient and I love that they included them. There are these tables that you can flip over and use as shelter to protect you from bullets. Personally, I find that they just get in my way when I'm trying to escape from something. Really, in most situations, I hate the tables. I'm sure many people will disagree with me on that, but they are really annoying to me. Like I said before, we're still in that honeymoon phase with the game where bosses are still pretty challenging. I feel like the boss bosses in general are a bit more challenging than in a lot of other games, but I can't say if that's because it really is harder or it's just because we've simply played the other games more. What I can tell you is that I really do enjoy the bosses. They all feel very unique and have their own awesome characteristics, even if they do destroy me a bit more than I care to admit to. You should probably not be looking at the video right now. All things considered, Enter the Gungeon is a game we are probably going to continue playing for a long, long time. As with most roguelikes, every time you play the game, it feels like a new experience and that is a thing we can't get enough of. I'm gonna give Enter the Gungeon three and a half angry bullets out of five. I really recommend it to anyone who likes this style of games and I really do hope you guys give it a go. All right, geeks, that's gonna do it for our review of Enter the Gungeon. If you have played it, I really wanna hear what you thought of it, so just let us know below. If there are any other games you want us to review, leave a comment. Whether it's new or even if it came out last year, if you want to hear our take on it, just let us know. If enough people want to see it, we will do our best to appease you. As always, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give us a like and share it with your friends. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter so we can hang out, maybe talk about some future videos or games coming out. All social media links are below. I hope to see you there. All right, geeks, I will see you next time.